Welcome to the new series that will uncover a different breed of athlete. One who doesn't play for the money or the fame, and whose stadium are the streets of New York City. Why don't you come along for the ride, because this is Street Games. Welcome to Street Games presented by Pontiac, Ken and Harkin back with you again and today we're heading to Coney Island and Keyspan Park where we're going to meet some very inspirational athletes who prove you're never too old to play the game that you love. Then we're heading to the Upper East Side where we're going to play a little dodgeball. It's going to be exciting, a lot of kinetic energy going around here. It's all happening right now on Street Games. Coney Island an icon of summers in New York. Today at Keyspan Park, home of the Brooklyn Cyclones, a game is about to be played, not by the usual minor league players who aspire to greatness, but instead players who have lived through the game, the old boys of summer. Well, we're a bunch of fellas all than that, the average age of about 70, I would say, who played ball when they were younger who just continued playing ball, and uh, we meet once a week in Staten Island. These guys are worse than kids. Little League was no problem. You tell them to shut up, they shut up. Managing the team is 69-year-old Andy Mealy, who created the Old Boys of Summer. I was about 56 years old, 1995 or something, and a friend of mine, a guy named Pat Gronowski, said, why don't we throw the baseball around? So there was three of us. We went out. We started once a week. We throw the baseball around, and then we started, you know, gathering some of the old guys one at a time. This group here has probably been together nine or ten years, and we work out every week. We play a few games during the year, and uh, you know, things like this come along. The starting pitcher for today's game is 73-year-old Norman Root. Norman? Yeah. I don't want to talk about Norman. I don't want to talk about Norman. I don't even like Norman. Norman is Norman is. One of these fellows, nice fella, good family man, terrific friend. He's got one floor. He's a giant fan. Oh, I grew up, baseball was my life when I was younger. I was a mad giant fan. And I was raised, I was raised in Brooklyn as a mad giant fan. And he still talks about the Giants like this. He talks about Willie Mays, he talks about God, and you know, this kind of stuff. Willie, there was nobody like Willie. Willie was the best. Oh, get out of here, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> He's a terrific guy. We get along real good. My right hand man, I never put him in charge though, because when, when I leave it to him, everything goes haywire. Is this uh, Joe Torrey and Don Zimmer or what? Yeah. The brain There you go. There That's you go, it. Tony. That's it, Tony. Well, today we're 